Welcome back, people. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, now it's time for our parenting segment. And today we will be talking about potty training a child with special needs. And Adebola Adefioye, she's a psychologist who's passionate about helping children with neurodevelopmental disorders such as autism and other related disorders. And this morning she's going to enlighten us more on how to potty train a child with special needs. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. Great, let's get right into it. Now okay. let's first of all enlighten people on what Sporty training is okay. Okay, um, what sporty training is basically like teaching a child how to use the restroom, or should I say, how to use the toilet? Okay. It starts at different ages. Some people start as early as six months, some start as early as 12 months, some start as early as 18 months, depending on the capabilities of each child. So now when we talk about special needs, now because of their special needs, like we said, mm -hmm. it depends on the child. So we need to know whether the child is fully equipped to get the potty training learning, yeah. And when we talk about special needs, it's like, it's wide. Exactly. It's, yeah, we it's have not autistic children. children. We, we have, have children. Down syndrome. syndrome. You have um, children who are uh, malformed. Yeah. So there's, there's a... Right, so, yeah. But then, uh, is there a, pot, a certain kind of um, training, potty training for every child with, di with their disorders? Um, well... We could say there are special types. Okay. As you watch, I said, no, no, let me not use the word special types. There are different types. Okay. Like I explained initially, depending on the capabilities of each child, depending mm. on the capacity of each child, mm. okay. like the mom or whoever it is, maybe the caregiver, or whoever mm. it is that is working with the child, will know when a child can start to potty train. Okay. How you and would then do, at what age? It's, like I said, it's not cast in stone. Okay. You know what, when you see your child, you will be able to say, okay, can we start this? Let's try this. Okay. If it works, then we can continue. If it doesn't work, then we stop. We know that that child isn't ready. Mm. So it depends. Like for how you would portray a child with autism is different from how you would portray a child exactly. that has cerebral so, palsy and okay. all that. But because autism, Down syndrome, and all that, because they are neurodevelopmental, it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with bone or body. It is. We can have that together it can be the same range mm. but for a child that has cp that's different because a lot of children with cp have bone, bone issues, issues muscle uh -huh, so it's different so that's those are the those are like should i say the two that are kind of like different okay like so we can categorize it into two okay for children with um, neurodevelopment disabilities on one side and, and then, then for children with um, physical policy. yes on another now, side now let's yes. start with those with physical um okay disabilities. now for it let, let's use cp because okay. that's what a lot of people know in nigeria here cerebral palsy, palsy yes okay sorry don't let me call it cp yes, because a lot of people do not know understand okay, yeah. what it is so yeah for a child with cerebral palsy because they have issues with their bones and physical um, um physical, physical movements, movements yeah yeah so what we do is we do that a lot of them are on um, diapers they do diapers in, in, um, for a while until okay. their their bones and core are able to like they're formed, formed. yeah because you know some of them are on wheelchairs some of them have to stand on um, they have they need braces they need um, sitting frames and all that so until that child has attained a bit of stability mm. before we can begin to do potty training for such child okay. and what we can uh, what we, I always advise is you sit them on your feet um, like you put them on your knees okay. and then put the Potty underneath you, so you. What that's how you do for a child that has physical issues. Okay. Then you, we keep doing that, and as their bones begin to form, oh. yes, it's easier. So when they after they sit on the potty for a while, mm. they begin. Now we can sit them down on their on the, own without okay. yeah, on the toilet on the toilet seat. seat. But we right. keep holding them. You know, we mm. still have frames to hold them, like straps, like hold them so they don't fall over. Mm. Because the um, their therapy isn't at once. Sometimes it takes a, a long, long time. time. Sometimes mm. it takes like months, some, sometimes even years mm. before they can achieve a bit of um, balance and mm. all. Mm. So that is that for CP. So CP is, it, sorry, I'm sorry, I keep calling cerebral it CP. Palsy. Cerebral palsy. Yeah. I'm sorry. For, um, for children with cerebral palsy, it takes a longer time. Okay. It's a lot of patience and all that. But it's a journey that we start and then we keep, it's not something we start today and then we get tired and we stop tomorrow. Mm. No, you that's to like, continue. yes, we have to continue. You know, the, the parents, the caregivers, the teachers, whoever it is, the team that is working with the child, everybody has to be on the I same see. page mm. so that it can work mm. and all that. And the thing about it, is like but like we always advise is once you start and then you stop it's like you take the child back like huge steps back okay so we always add if you're not ready to continue the journey please don't start okay yeah um quickly let's move on to those with neurodevelopmental disorders. disorders yes for those ones we had we do a lot of visual cues for them okay. because they are more visual learners mm -hmm. what they do we do we try and do maybe we do we first thing we model for them like if you maybe your child has autism or any um, any neurodevelopmental issue mm -hmm. we ask you to model we 
ask you to show Model? them how. Okay. Show them how the way to the toilet is. Show okay. them where the toilet is. Okay. If possible, let them see you in the toilet. Oh, let them see okay. you sit down okay. and all. That. It's strange. I hear a lot of my clients tell me, why would my child, child be watching watch me? But yeah. I'm like, it's we're trying to achieve something. Okay. I'm going to give an example. I have a child I work with. He has autism, and he he has actually learned to use the toilet. Okay. But he he's he's male, and then he used to sit down to wee. And the father wasn't comfortable with that. So I was like, okay. We showed him a lot of cues. We showed him pictures and all that. We were explaining, but he still wasn't getting it. Mm. Until one day I told him, I was like, you know one thing, take him to the toilet with you. He was like, no, I'm not going to do that. How can my son watch me? I was like, just try just once. And then we'll see. I, first time he went to the toilet, his father said he was looking at him like, oh, and all that. But the next time the guy was going to go to the, he did it perfectly well mm. and we didn't have any issues. So sometimes I always advise, modelly, let these kids mm. see it. Like a lot of us learned everything we learned from our parents by watching. No, but none of our parents had that tattoo and said, you must learn how to greet. You must learn how to sweep. We saw them doing it. Mm. So they modelled it for us. They, though in those days, we didn't call it modelling. We okay. just were watching. Okay. And that was how it was. Okay. Now let's talk about, a, is there like a schedule for party training? Yes. Okay. Now, if we're going to talk about, let me use typical and atypical children. We okay. call children with, on the spectrum or children with disabilities atypical children. Atypical. typical children, we ask parents to start at six months. Mm. Keep your, sit your child down, put the potty underneath them, and then keep doing it. Maybe you do it like every 30 minutes. Yeah, I or didn't every... know that. Okay, yeah, oh, that's how it's easy. It's I, far, didn't it's... I didn't know that you had to put the potty between, between your, your knees legs, and then you and sit then the child. Oh, yes, I had no idea. It's, a lot I of just thought you carried the child and put on the potty. No, no, it's <laughs> because a child that is six months would not want to sit down. They want to, like, they're squirming and all that. Yeah, so once like, you sit I mean, like them you down... Yeah, like them down on the potty. potty yes. and so you're talking to the child, yeah. Ah. So the child doesn't know that that's what you want. And you're, you're cooing, oh, hey, you know, and the child is doing whatever he or she needs okay. to do. And okay. then sometimes, you know how it is when we're younger, then we take a boy to the, to the potty, and, to the toilet, and you're like, you're doing that. It's talking it to sticks. his brain. Yes, okay. it does. You know, so okay. we do that. So quickly, let's go move over to the atypical, because we need to wrap but, up so okay, quickly. Okay, so sorry, yeah. So what we do is, for atypical children, what we take them... For the first time, we sit them down when they're younger and okay. all that. And when they start to grow, when they begin to grow up oh, and all that, we okay. do cues. We do, like, pictorial cues all around. We, oh. There are cues whereby it shows them the process of removing their trousers or their skirts, mm. of how to sit down, how to flush, how to wash what their hands. And all, an illustration. Pictorial oh, cues. Fantastic. Yes. Thank yes. you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Debo, you have been so helpful. Thank I'm you. I'm sure that um, there are a lot of women and caregivers right now watching and you who are having some of these challenges, you've been able to, you know, educate Explain. us and enlighten us, enlighten us more on them. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, there's still so much happening in the kitchen. Chef Natsura, oh, what's going on, V?